welcome to From Days to Years. We're so excited you're here. Our show is an open letter from moms to moms. We're gonna celebrate successes and seemingly our failures because we don't really fail. They're just life lessons that we pass on to one another. I'm really excited about this series that we're doing and we're going to do a series on working moms. Moms that either own businesses or moms that work in corporate America and are just out there kicking butt and taking names. So I'm here with my awesome co-host, Heather. Hi, Hi, Angela. And she's going to introduce our guest in our segment. Okay. Today, we're meeting, speaking with Essence Hines, and she owns a boutique play, play space called A World of Smalls. Welcome to the show, Essence. Hi, thank Hi. you. <laughs> Sorry, we're still new. We're still getting the hang of it. Um, so t- let's talk first about your family and okay. your children. How many do you have? What are their ages? So I have one. He's my only one right now. <laughs> How old is he? He is 16 months old. Yes. It's the best age. Though. Yes. I love that. Age. I don't know. He's he's a little destructive. He's so. destructive, but like they, <laughs> they have a personality. Like, you yes, know, you can is. play with him. You can interact mm-hmm. and they know, they know it's you too. Like, mm-hmm. you know, their faces light up. Like that's yes, what I love. I, love. I do love that. I part. love peekaboo. <laughs> I could play hours of peekaboo with a baby. <laughs> um, okay. So tell us a little bit about um, World of Smalls. Um, so we are, as you said, an indoor play space. Um, we are geared towards the zero to five, six-ish, six-ish age. Um, but I found that a lot of the older siblings that come in and play with their their sisters and brothers are having a good time too on their own. So yes, I can <laughs> that's see all, that. That's all. That's also funny. That. So we do open play um, during the week, Tuesday to Saturday, and then um, we also are a place where parents can have their birthday parties, and not just private birthday parties. We also do like. We host private events, so like if you just want a space for you and all your friends or your family to come to and you guys have a bunch of kids, then we're the space for you. So we do that as well. Um, And we have little art classes and events. Um, We've actually got one coming up, Winterfest, um, which I'm excited about. It's our first Christmas event. (laughs) So, um, so yes, and we also do balloons. So we've got a few things going. I was gonna here. say you have like every yes. shade of balloons when I walk. Yeah. Oh, I that's like, look that's at, just look what at. I've got out here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Angela, look at all the colors she yes, has. Yes, that's just Angela what I, I've got a shelf in balloons. there, and I've got some at home as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, it's hard to find all these colors. Yes. Like, yes. Honestly, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so Erica, when she's gonna splice the screen, so at some point you're gonna be able to see the beautiful play space that we're in. We're calling it a boutique play space because it's just it's. It's it's pretty, but it's not so overwhelming so that little kids wouldn't be um, frightened to come here. And yes. it really does cater to them, the, the sizes of the equipment. the um, It's very clean. I just want to really, really mention that. Yes. I've been to some play spaces yes. that are a little nasty. Yes. Don't want to call anybody out. But <laughs> this place is very clean. Yes. It's very well taken care of. And it's, it's organized It is well. bright. bright. I hate thing. dark play places yes. like at the mall. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's so many windows. It's so bright. I love it. Yes. Kids will I definitely, if I had little ones, I'd yes. be here. Because <laughs> it reminds me of some places I, from yeah. where on the West Coast that I would go to, and I loved how bright they were. Yeah. And mm-hmm. yes. So mm-hmm. this is great. Yeah. So, how did you decide to open up? So, um, we were actually, I had my son, and it did turn out that his personality was more mine than his father's. <laughs> so, he that was happens. already very social as a baby. And so, I just wanted to get him out and, like, yes. you know, <laughs> get him playing with other babies and yes. stuff. And he loves to play with other little kids and children. Oh. So, um, I was, so, I actually went to another place that was closer to my parents' house. Um, and I was like, this is so cute, but we don't have any places like that over here in this area for the smalls and for the littles. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to look into it. I wasn't really like going to jump on because my (laughs) background is in human resources. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, so I did a so much research. It's a big career change. (laughs) It it very much is. I I was like watching all the videos, reading up and stuff, and I'm actually part of a society that is full of other play, uh, play indoor play space owners. Oh, wow! I so didn't even have that. I know. Yes. <laughs> so that's um, amazing. Though. I had to, yeah, I had For to make support. sure. That, yes, and, and resources. <laughs> 
because, like I said, this is not something I've ever done before. Yes. Um, and I enjoyed working, so I was like, okay, well, how can I work and then also have my son as well because I wasn't confident at the at this time in putting yes. him in daycare because yeah. everything that's been <laughs> happening. So yes. I was like, okay, well. So and I decided to move forward with it. Um, and I had the support of my family as well. And here we are eight months later. This is a ama- That's yes, an amazing story. Yes, Because <laughs> that is like taking the leap. Yes, the big it was leap. a huge leap. <laughs> and an HR personality, no offense. Yes, no, go is ahead. It's not necessarily known for taking like, oh, yeah. I mean, you're very, you're, you're very logical, yeah. very, yes. yeah. you think yeah. critically, you're, yeah. you solve other people's problems, but to go out and just like, Yes, but it was if you think about it, that, that is the personality that should open someplace like this because mm. you're going to make sure all the the, the oh yeah, are the legalities yes. were yes. the yes. easiest part I think um, with my background. Yeah, right. So so you're right. I think that I'm one of the, the like crazy nutsy like HR professionals. <laughs> you were the fun HR. Person. Yes, I bet you were the fun <laughs> HR. <person. laughs> because some, some, some of us are a little it. uptight for yeah. sure. Like they <laughs> yes. were when I had stepped into my previous job. Like the culture was completely different than it yeah. was when I left. Me and a couple of other associates <laughs> that got in there, we kind of like shook things up because oh. people were like scared to come in there. That's always so, the hard part. Yes. I don't want to go to HR. I'm like, oh, yes, because you think help you're going to get fired. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know, I tell my husband that all the time. They're there to support yes, you and they yes. want to nip problems in the bud yes. before they're a disaster yeah yep. yeah so <laughs> so don't so, be afraid yeah. to talk to your hr person yeah, side don't. note yeah <laughs> psa most of us are great most of us <laughs> most yes there are the bad but that's in every field though in every true, department true true because you've one. got people everywhere yes like people doing what yes. people do so so that's an awesome transition going from hr to your own business now yes, I am. But the main part of that was you're a mom and mm-hmm. you want to spend more time with, with your child and you found the way to do and that you found yes. the way to do that yes. because we, I think every mom has that. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Yeah, because it's a hard thing. I mean, like yes. I have, like I always say, I have older kids. I want to go back to work, and I'm afraid to not be there with them. Yeah. And you know, and I'm, I know they're mature enough to be home by themselves, but yeah. I want to be with them. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not ready to cut the little strings that are still left. There's those little. <laughs> but your kids yeah. aren't in college yet. They're though. not so in they're college. Still, you know, they're still junior high, high school mm-hmm. right. age. Still. I feel still like they still need. need. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you found a way to be able to do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's like goes in one of our next questions then. In society, do you think women bear the brunt of family responsibilities? Um, you know, having to you know, if you're at work. Who's gonna, who are they going to call to come pick up a sick child? Mm-hmm. They're going to call you yep. or going to call your husband? They like always how, call yes. the mom. Um, I definitely think that even with how things have been progressive, especially with my generation, you know, fathers are doing way more than right. what they were doing then. But it's still, I think, in the back of our minds, like we do have that responsibility to be like, okay, well, if, if I want to put my child in daycare, I have to be the one to search for the daycare. Right. I have to, you know, interview babysitters or nannies and stuff yes. like that if I do that. If not, I have to be the one to find, like it's just something that is, it's innate to us versus, you know, Everyone else just kind of, they just be living. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I think like, right. they don't yes. have to worry about it because Society it's something that we still but yes. sees the maternal mm-hmm. nurture mm-hmm. versus the paternal, I mean, yes. st- structured person. Right, right. I don't know right. what the right term there is, but yes. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, at some point, I hope they change that, but yeah. Yeah. I think it's 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 probably going to be a good bit. And it's not but. a bad thing. Like, I, I enjoyed staying at home with our daughter. Mm-hmm. My husband, he's a wonderful person. Yes. But he is not the right person to be able to, to do that because he's not, he's not built for that. And right. I don't know if it's in our house, it is a man versus a woman thing. As a woman, I'm yes. much better capable. Mm-hmm. But I will say we tried homeschooling once. Okay, obviously we're not doing that now. <laughs> and there was a guy in our group his wife was a doctor mm-hmm. and he was a stay-at-home dad and I was like oh that's different and then I met her and I'm like he's the parent that needs to stay home with right the kids. right she was not not the nurture she, the, no yeah no and everybody no. every parent there's always that division yes. of like yes no yes. I do agree with you yes. on that mm-hmm. and, and typically it is the mom but that guy he was and he clicked right in with the rest of the mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she would not have. Yeah. yeah. Right. Isn't It's very interesting how that yeah. works out. Yeah. Yeah. 
My yes. husband's uncle, um, when they, they immigrated from England to New Zealand, oh. and he chose to stay home and raise two teenage girls. Oh, wow. Um, and he went through it all, because when I was starting to stress about my soon-to-be teenage daughter, he goes, if I can do it, you can do it. He oh, said, yeah. you just have to talk to them. Oh. He said, be open and don't be nervous because they're just as, like the fact that I had a man giving me this great advice oh, about how yeah. to do things, yeah. about yeah. the changes that were about to come into mm-hmm. our world. Oh, yeah. He was, he was like, no, it's fine. It's a yeah. fact yeah. of life. And I said, you were such an amazing dad yeah. to have this. And you have a different relationship with your girls than yeah. your wife does. Yeah. You and definitely and have to be a, like yeah. given to it. It's not a bad relationship no. it was just a different relationship yeah. he mm-hmm. was the chaperone dad he yeah. was the dad that was at school volunteering yeah so i i would definitely i think it would behoove can i use that word yeah i mean it would behoove some men to have an opportunity at least for a year to stay at home and get to know their children more because it seems like you know like my dad he's from a different generation mm-hmm. and my parents had four girls mm-hmm. my parents were married for many years they got divorced at the end like a third they're not dead but like it was like you know 30 years you're, you're almost at the end but they like they, they decided to get divorced which is fine that's up to them and my dad he didn't have a chance to really stay with us he wouldn't have been the best at that but i think it would have been good for him to do that to see to see what more it's that. like what the yeah yeah and maybe even appreciate my mom and some of the things that she went right. through with right. four girls yeah you know <laughs> four moms right there by the time I was 17, I wouldn't move out. Oh, that shit, honey, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. But I, I wish that we could, if there was a way, you know. Right. I, I mean, that kind of goes back to society is that, you know, just not g- getting mm. that permission, I guess, mm. that it's okay yeah. to stay home. It's okay to choose your children over right. your career yeah. right? because the career is not going to be there forever but your children will be there forever right and that's a hard it's hard it yeah. is. because they're following the footsteps of their parents and the you know generation yeah. after generation and it's hard to break that cycle yeah. right and i feel like maybe in the last few years because so many people did work from home yeah. for a period mm-hmm. of time that maybe they got a little bit more of appreciation yeah that's true for sure i don't think it happened in my household <laughs> love you but you know <laughs> I still did it all. Like, you know, I was yeah. making three different lunches every yeah. day oh, wow. yeah. My, <laughs> at different times oh, based on fun. school schedules mm-hmm. and office schedules. Yeah. I convinced my husband that on Thursdays when we have Girl Scouts, you can pick her up from Girl Scouts. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You, you can, can do this. You can do this. <laughs> it's it's, it's once easy. every two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not hard. Yeah, it's, it's not. And it's a good bonding. It is. Yeah. It is. They can bonding, go out and get, yes. Yes. You can go out ice cream or y'all can talk. You can go to the park. Mm-hmm. Right? You, all those things. Because we things. do live in a neighborhood that has all of that. A lot of parks. Yeah. It's a lot of parks. My mm-hmm. kids hate parks. <laughs> My kids hate outdoors. Always? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, they read a lot, though. They read a lot. Well, my son good. likes to go um, to the park across the street from our house. Oh, yeah. He yeah. likes to go first thing in the morning or towards the end of the night when there's nobody there. And he climbs. There's, it's a pirate ship. And he climbs up to the top I, with his oh, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just at the top. That is so cute. That's, That's like wonderful. Or they go together and they push each other on the big swing. Aww. I don't know if they're trying to hurt the other one. Boy. Yeah. They're siblings. Yeah. We used to try and kill each other. Yeah, they're 12 and 14. So yeah, we, I mean, we used to try and kill each other. Yeah. yeah. Four of us. The but they come first. home alive, so... Well, that's yeah, always good. It's good. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then I was going, you chose to go together. I don't want to hear about it. Right. So they're, so balance. Balance. Very important. I think for all relationships. Mm-hmm. Right. And especially for parents. Yeah. Yes. So I want to know, how do you balance <laughs> well, <laughs> all this? <laughs> so... Sorry, <I'm> <laughs> Well, yeah, because you're a small business owner. I mean, exactly. this is not. And this is the start of the business. I've right. actually only been open a few weeks. So oh, wow. right now, there's not very much balance during the it, hours that this I'm is your open. Baby. Um, right. This is your newborn baby right here. I'm managing <laughs> this and my baby, that because he comes to work with me. Yeah, um, but see, that's day. great, though. So, but Mondays and Sundays, um, we do private parties we allow for private parties right. on Sundays but those two days um, are my off days and that's when yeah. I'm spending my time with my son mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Reconnecting. going to church on Sunday and then we get to spend the rest of the evening together and then yeah. we get the whole Monday and we'll walk to the mailbox Aww. or the park or something so see that so, I miss yes. those so. en- embrace that time because yes. it goes so Yes. They get yes. an opinion and they tell you. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but it's so great to hear it though, to see how their brains Most are of the time. coming across <laughs> and mm-hmm. how yeah. 
everything impacts and influences what they learn and say. It's yeah. very interesting yeah, how their true. brains work. Mm-hmm. That's true. And do you have, so balance, it's good you're able to do that, and it's, it's a new business, and I'm sure as things change and you open maybe more locations, yes. it'll change even more. Yes. I'm, yeah, I'm for sure. forward thinking it. Yes. Do you have extended family that maybe helps you, or what do you think about extended? Because some people are like all for extended family yes. coming in, I helping. I think it depends are... on the dynamic of the family, of yeah, course, because right. everyone, yeah. you know, is that's family is not always family, so right. you can't always yeah. depend on family. But luckily, um, you know, we're blessed, and we are able to defend, depend on my family. They live here. His family lives out of state. Oh, nice. um, and my dad's actually watching my son right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yes, he awesome. loves his Grandpa, grandson, Grandpa and, time and he best. and my son loves his day dog. That's what he calls him. <laughs> so, um, but um, I think it is if you have that support, it, that you should use it because I think that as moms, we kind of like we do. are like overprotective sometimes, yeah. and we're like, oh, don't do that. Yeah. So <laughs> and you're afraid of like yes. the negative, right? Talk right. Too. Yeah. That's true. Because they're true. you know. The people who are closer to you feel the most comfortable to point out what you're doing wrong. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. I think that's a thing that most moms go through no matter what. Like, I don't think that people scrutinize fathers as much as they do mothers when in reality we're the ones who are like, we're doing everything. We're taking care of these children and we're, we are the brain work behind everything that they do and say and what they're learning, just everything. And still, I don't know why, maybe it's just been a century age old thing that people are like, oh, mom should do this, mom should do that, mom, mom, mom. mom." And they're always coming down on us which is why we have to like build each other up yes so um but you know family's family (laughs) yes no no and they're they're gonna you know they're gonna do they are what they're they're gonna do but um it depends on the family dynamic i am in full support of you know you know using the help that the extended family gives um but if you cannot depend on them or they're not reliable then it's like you know, find people that you're close to or find right. a good babysitter or something. Yes. You know, there's always someone out there who some is babysitters able to be become help. like family. Yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So we left some good babysitters mm-hmm. behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't even gotten into that stage yet. Because I'm still the in the overprotective. I know. I know. <laughs> My kids so. eight. I'm definitely overprotective. Oh. She's had two babysitters her whole life. Oh. Mm-hmm. One for two hours. I don't suggest this, but I was going to a hair appointment and I had the nanny cam on my phone oh, yeah, while driving down do the that. highway no, in Atlanta. Don't do, don't do that. It's very dangerous. Thank God. I was stupid. I should not have done that. My husband was downstairs working from home. Mm-hmm. But I was still... So, and I, was still I know. It's so oh. bad. Don't do that. It was bad. I would never do that again. It was a bad idea. I and, used friends' teenage um, sisters. Yeah. Oh. And I went through all the sisters at one point. Oh. oh. So you kept the same family. <laughs> then, yeah. and then we moved and I found another family. Yeah. I went through the teenage daughter and then the teenage son. Okay. Yeah, which was perfect because he was perfect for my son. They'd have Nerf gun wars throughout mm-hmm. the house, Aww. play video games. Yeah. And then once he turned 16, um, love Jack to death, um, just in case he ever watches that. Love you to death. But um, <laughs> I tried really hard to not – I had to rely upon him to drive my son to school because Aww. his high school was right by the school is when yeah. we were moving. Yeah. Tried very hard not to think about yeah. Him being in the backseat of the car. Yeah. 16 yeah. year old boys in the car. Oh my goodness. That's why insurance is so high. Yes. yes. <laughs> Love For Jack sure. to death, though, because he really got me out of a tough one where I don't know how I was going to get my son to school because the movers were oh, literally yeah. loading up my house. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It was either my son stayed home all day and drove me nuts. Yeah. Because all we're doing is watching these people load up a truck. Right. Or let the 16 year old drive them to, to school. school. Yeah. <laughs> Cost yeah. me fifteen dollars. It was well worth it. <laughs> it's not a bad price. No, 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 no not no. at all. No. <laughs> he did it twice for me too. So oh, yeah, it's not a bad price. But he was like the best babysitter. Mm-hmm. But you just sometimes you just go. You know, you know what? At least in my case, they had your daughter has a cell phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she can was. always call and text you. That's right. Yeah. She used to text at three o'clock in the morning. But anyway, we'll get to that. Boundaries. Love her. Love her. Wait, Love tell her. her. You don't text at three o'clock in the morning for water. 
that's not what you need to be doing. No. So we had to set boundaries, which that's my question for you. Yeah. Yes. With your family, how do you set boundaries to make sure that they're, like you said, being helpful? Well, mm-hmm. but, but not overstepping. Right? Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> I am the outspoken sister okay. amongst the two. I've got two sisters. Okay. okay. Um, there's only three of us. So, but the other two are a little kinder than I am. <laughs> so, um, I would I say like the that. process of creating boundaries was uh, obviously a, a lot more easy from the time that I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, like, we're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. Yep. Like, Aww. and, you know, some stuff, you know, my parents are like, well, my mom did it to me when I had you. Like, giving yes. my like giving my son Generational candy or outdated. something. Yes. If it's yes. something little like that, then I'll just like, okay, like, it's whatever. Yeah. But if it's something that then I'm going to, you know, uh, yes. push forward. And my parents know that about me, so I don't really have any issues um, in that area. Um, so but I do there. think that they're important um, because you're also, like, bringing up a whole other generation right. of people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, they're not going to be kids forever. Yeah. Like, so we have to make good humans, and that means yes. that those these the humans, humans are results of our mistakes and us learning from our mistakes, so... Like yes. it is important to, for when we say, hey, we're, we're not gonna do this, like for them to say, okay, we understand, you're not gonna do this, like right. that didn't work in the past. Okay, we're so I, yep. I think boundaries are like super important. Um, like I said, the little stuff, I'll, I'll move on, but yeah. <laughs> the big things. stuff, I'm like, mm-mm. Yeah, so. that can just happen at the grandparents' house. Yep. Like, you know, yeah. cause every, like you said, every once in a while, it's not gonna hurt right, them. Right, right. Yeah. But, you know, if that's the thing, that that's what bonds them, then, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah, that makes sense. I like that. Yes, yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. too. So, we're not going to take much more time because we could talk forever. You know how yes. that yeah, yeah, we can go, go, go. So, I have a few more questions for you. Yes. And then we'll leave, we promise. <laughs> <laughs> she has snacks back there, y'all. Good snacks, too. Yes, <laughs> she does. And a cute yes. fridge with all kinds of bubbly and, oh, and yes. juices. We could be here for a long time. But we're oh, not yes. Going to. We're not going to. We're not going to. So... If a young mom mm-hmm. transitioning from a stay-at-home mom or mid-career or mom wanting to make a change into your field or a similar field, what advice would you give them? Um, I think the most important step in doing anything that's going to you know, involve this much effort and having a small business is going to involve so much effort because you're doing it yourself that you plan that is the one thing that i tell everybody that's like the only thing that's the only advice that remains true like since 1999 like you have to plan on what you're going to do the planning stage is the most important stage and it will make or break you for sure um, so, you know, just don't don't just jump into anything. Just plan on what you're going to do because you'll find that you can tweak stuff later. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to go into stuff, you know, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. What am I going to do here? You don't want to, like, come up on it right. at the time that it happens. Mm-hmm. Like, do not float by the seat of your pants. Just plan on mm-hmm. what you're going to do. That's, that's really the only advice that I could give. Plan on it and then... You know, have faith in yourself. And and I, not just faith in myself, I am a believer. So I have my faith, and that has also carried me through this process. And it's going to carry me on through however far it goes or wherever it goes. Um, But don't, you know, don't be scared. You will be scared. I can't say don't be scared. You will be scared. (laughs) But when you take that leap, just just believe that it's going to be a good leap. You know, and there are going to be, like you said, some successes, some failures. Right. Um, just accept, just be able to accept the things that happen when they happen. And then if there are bad things, you know, tweak it, move on from it. Don't let anything like keep you from moving to the next phase. And definitely get out of your um, comfortability zone oh, okay. because <laughs> I have had to do that. And it's actually you know, brought better results. So plan cool. and then, you know, get out of your comfortability zone and just be comfortable in what you're going to do. So, okay, yeah, yeah. How much time did you take to plan? I know you researched a lot. Oh, like, my goodness. You wrote a business plan. Did you have to present it to yes. someone else? Yes, um, I did do the business plan. Mm-hmm. I ended up um, funding it myself from the ground up. 
Right. Um, right. So I didn't have to like say, hey, can you look at my business plan and give me some money? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I Which did have the business easy. plan and that helped with, believe it or not, you know, planning the rest of like what I was going to put yeah. in here, yeah. like just yeah. even the little stuff. So um, I would say that that whole eight months process was months, uh, well i would say months. before i actually like i would say like three or four of those months was like me writing stuff down on paper and writing on my board and typing things up and just like getting fully immersed into the admin part of it right. before i actually like started like buying things or you know right. like mm-hmm. looking up finding instructors and looking things up so um yeah But, I mean, it's been a continual process. Like, I still have to do my calendars and everything. Right. So, but I would say that whole eight-month process was was definitely me planning. (laughs) So. Yeah. So plan. Yes, for sure. I like planning. For sure. So that's, that's, a, that's yeah. my thing. <laughs> I do. You're that's definitely person. the HR yeah, speaking. I'm a <laughs> yeah, that, that, which, is, <laughs> which is good because you need that. And some people don't have that and they just kind of jump in like we did with the podcast. We went out for drinks one day. I'm like, the next day, let's do the podcast. And that's what we are. Yeah, so, yeah. And here we are today. And here we are today. Yeah, yeah. So plan is you make sure you have that business plan, that you have the financial support, that you mm-hmm. have familiar support is really good too. So when you have those moments, because you talked about sometimes they're not always happy moments. Sometimes mm-hmm. you feel like you're... Going down the tubes or losing, yeah. not losing your mind, but just doubting yourself. What do you do? Um, I just have to, like I had mentioned earlier, like I am strong in my faith in the Lord. So um, aside from like being able to just like, okay, I need to just chill out. Like when I'm having a moment, I'm like, oh my God. Like reset. Like, you yeah, gotta reset, reset your thinking. Yes, yes, just like chill out. It's like, this is going to go well. Like... And even if it doesn't, you are going to come back from it or you're, or you're going to learn something from it. And then it. you move on. Yeah. Yeah. So just don't let it take over because, you know, with women, sometimes. We are self Yes. <laughs> we are. And an emotion can come right. and that it'll stay with us for a long to, time. It's hard so to bounce back you sometimes. Cannot, yep. we're our, what is it that we're our own? We're um, our own worst enemy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But our um, doubt or like, yeah. there's a term for that. I can't think of what it is now, of course. But yeah, we're yeah. our own worst enemy. But yeah, in the sense that we, yeah, yeah, you cautious know, cautious yes. critic. Cautious critic. That's yes. what I'm thinking <laughs> about. <laughs> yes, that's what I was sure. trying to think. We are our harshest. We critic. are, especially especially me coming into this. Like I have dealt with imposter syndrome so much mm-hmm. since yes. you know this is not my field. Like this mm-hmm. is something I'm not. But it's like I have to remind myself that I am. You know, I'm the only one doing this right now in this area. And I'm also, I think, the only, the first POC that has opened something like this. That means people of color. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, guys. That's okay. But no, Um, yeah. That's hard. It is. And and I think it's something also that I can be proud of. Yes. And Mm -hmm. that I can be an example for others who are like me. So that also helps me get up out of it and like, okay. Let's move on. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's important. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like one of the phrases we have on our show is we're trying to go from guilt to grace and from fear to faith. We don't, um, so on our show, we don't talk about religion, anything spiritual or any kind of politics because everyone has their own thing and mm-hmm. we don't want to divide anybody. Right. So it sounds like you're led by grace as opposed to guilt. And when you have those times, you go back and re- re-situate yourself in what you believe. Yeah. Because we just return, you re- mm-hmm. you go back to your business plan and yep. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. You reset your foundation. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I'm a list of of lists. Yeah, I keep trying to. I on my list it says make a list. <laughs> I have yet to do it because they're I all have in a lot my of lists head. Too, though, yeah, so. yeah. I love lists. I yes. love lists. Oh, you lessons. need them. You I wish I could lessons. get into the digital list because I think I'd be so much better at mm-hmm. it. Because my phone's always in my hand. I like the memo pad. Mm-hmm. I use digital lists. Yes. I love them. Yes, I I've got one on my iPad and on my phone. So. Yeah, I love them, but I just, I'm still a planner too. Like I yeah. take everything from my phone and I copy it into my paper planner. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, then I don't want to do my to-do notes. Like yeah. 
But I should just give in to it. <laughs> it's been too many it years, is. but it's it hard it's for It's like me. you're on your phone anyway, so yeah, I might know. as well. I, I keep mine by my It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll make them less. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I know. I get messages from you. And then I'm like, oh, I shouldn't message her back at 6 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm awake. She's awake, though. So I'm awake at like 5.30. Oh, that sounds like Do you like want to drive mother. my daughter to school every day? No, no. Okay. I, used I to do drive in my, my pajamas. No. I go in my pajamas. <laughs> I used yes. to drive my sister to crew at 5.30. I was, okay, so this oh, is wow. another long sidebar. <laughs> I'm sleepy just thinking about it. <laughs> Four sisters, and I mean, you guys all, we all went, went to the same college. We went to the wow. same college. And they would call me. one At 5.30 in the morning, I would get up, leave my apartment, go get one of my sisters and drive her to crew practice. Why she couldn't get a crew member to do that, yeah. who was already going in that same direction yeah. and possibly lived in the same dorm? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You need to find her um, mm. old um, crew. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, team member. I do. I do. Because that would be lovely to know She that. was probably there at the same time as my um, brother-in-law, who was driving himself to gymnastics practice. Oh. Mm. He probably could have swung by and picked her. That would have been good. Because that 530 was hard, because I didn't need to be up that early. No, yeah. I would have been like, no. Yeah, I definitely would have been that person, too. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to walk. Yeah. Sorry. I was second mom. I was second. Okay, okay. Yeah. another question for you. We only have a couple more, and we're, we're going to leave, and we're going to hit that snack bar on the way out. So what is your like, – there's something called Rusa. I don't know if our audience is familiar with that. Mm. I was not until about maybe about a year or two years ago. not really sure. Mm. Time's a little fuzzy for me some days. So Rusa is when you have a chance to just go exhale. A moment just to relax and exhale. When do you do that? Where is your place that you go to just to – or do you not have a place and you need to find a place? Uh, <laughs> I need to find a place. I would say oh, I, I would say I do have a place, but um, on Saturday night is when when I get home and we've like cleaned the whole establishment and all the toys and everything. When I get home, I'm just like mm, I'm off for the next two days. <laughs> so, but so I guess I would say my place is it's either at home or. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so and your faith is a big yes. part of life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um but yeah, so that that would be my Wusa. It's Saturday night when I closed. I would say when I turn the lock on the door. door you're like <laughs> Like don't get me wrong, I have a lot of fun doing this, especially yes, but it's work. It's a lot yes, of pressure, it is work. Too, a lot of stress. <laughs> yes, and it's yes. all because like you said, you're doing it on your own. Yes. You don't have mm-hmm. a partner. Yeah. yeah. You just have family to rely on, but they're That's not right. shouldering right, right, right. the day to day exactly running. So yeah, when I turn that lock on. Absolutely like, with lots with little kids. I'm off now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love doing it. this, but it's it's a lot of work. It is. <laughs> it's, well, uh, it's a lot of work. Yeah. No, it's a lot of work. <laughs> For sure. It's a lot, but yeah. I, I love it, and I love that. We have an awesome team. Like, yes. I wish you guys could see Ian and Valerie. They will not get on camera, and I'm not going to ask them to because I know they do not want to. <laughs> but they are – we have an awesome team, but it's a lot of work. I mean, we yeah. for this one, we, we came out to a location, and then we still have – our kids, like Val had to take a call earlier from the school. Valerie, I keep saying Val, I'm sorry, I'm Valerie. So it, we still, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of planning, we love it, and but it is work. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're starting a business, it's not going to be all giggles. Some no. days, some yeah. days it's going to be the other word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be some gripes. <laughs> Our last question is, if you could sum up being a mom that works outside of the home in one word or phrase, what is that word or phrase? An adventure. <laughs> an I like adventure. that it is for sure. <laughs> it's an adventure for yeah. sure, especially having my son with me. Like he's he's my little shadow. So Aww. yeah, so it's I definitely... call them my ducklings because my kids just fall. even now they follow me around. Yeah, and I call them my little duck. Where's my little Aww, ducklings? That's what my sister I think calls of the mo- her Yeah, she's a pre-K mama, teacher. Yeah, the yeah. mama duck, and they're the babies are just mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. my ducklings. Yeah, they hate it. Oh. I think it's great. They're That's like so cute. Ducklings for so yeah, long because they fall. They're always in your shadow. Yeah. And I always yeah. tell their teachers, I wish you hadn't taught them to walk on a straight line because they literally <laughs> walk right behind me. Uh-huh. I love yeah. that. Like, could you walk to the side so I can see that you're still with me? <laughs> I lost you. I love that. I love that. I mean, yes. my gosh, they're 14 and 12. You would think they could get out of the line, but no, they're in school and they still nope. have to walk on a yeah. line yeah. and catch yeah. a bubble. Yeah. Well, the high schooler doesn't. Oh, they don't. Okay. No. My eight year old's still catching that bubble. Oh no, high school's a mess. at home. Yeah. Especially when the bell rings, you just everybody's like Yeah, in high school. But I think and I think that's how the middle school is too. Mm-hmm. I mean they're up there. I always go, they're up there on their own floor away mm-hmm. from all the little kids, but yeah. Oh. I've never been up there. I get lost. Oh, oh it's very easy. 
Is it? <laughs> so our our school is a K through eight school. So. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> I, I did not know that was even a thing until I moved here. From I know we didn't Texas. have it where. And we, I was like, yeah, what? You either. guys put out of state all right. these big kids with yeah. the little kids, but. And know, it would be great if I had little kids, but my kids are older, and so I'm on mm-hmm. this. My daughter's high school is a six through twelve campus, mm-hmm. and I'm sort of tempted oh. to move him over there. Yeah. Because I feel like being up on the third floor, they're forgotten about. Yeah, I know yeah. they're not, but I mean, like, yeah. I have that. Yeah. And I also think, like, they just want to hide them away because they're so loud and wild and crazy. Oh, yeah. Have you seen them in the library? Those kids are Oh, well, no. And they're I'm, big, too. No, 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 no. Those no, middle no. school kids, they're, they're, they're loud. They're huge I'm the kids. mom who's yelling at all those kids. We're in a library. Do we speak like this? Do we raise our voices right. like this? Where are the libraries? It's right. like a zoo in there. It is a zoo. Oh and, it's, and they're running. And, yes. and it's not out in the hallways. They're running around the stacks of books. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... Somebody's going to get hurt. It's a lot. It's and a lot. they're pushing kids. And... Oh, yes. No. So I'm the mom who yells, and then I have the kids who go, I'm going to tell my mom. I'm like, please tell your mom. Let me give you her my number. Because uh, if she yes, knew we can you were talk. acting like this. Yes, she would not be into it. She would not sure. be on board. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we've had a wonderful time talking to us in science. And, of course, my awesome coworker, Heather. Hey, Angela. <laughs> and remember, our series that we're bringing to you um, for the next couple of months will be about working moms. So not just moms that work in corporate America, but moms who have started their own business. And you're going to see a variety of moms, moms who are just starting their business. Um, maybe it's been open a month like Essence, or moms that have been open for decades and have multiple um, multiple locations, moms that work in corporate America, just a variety of moms. So you can kind of see and get a thought process and maybe a plan or just some more information and some more empowerment and encouragement so that you can go out and do the same thing when it's right for you. All the moms that we ask will ask the same set of questions. So we have that kind of almost like a foundation, but every answer is going to be different based on their experience. And at some point you'll be able to connect with one of those moms and say, you know what? I can do this too if I choose to do it. So anything else y'all want to say before we wrap up? This was fun. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. (laughs) Thank you, Angela, for deciding to go this way. (laughs) Thank you, Heather, for joining me. And thank you, Essence. Yes. Thank you, Essence. This was fun. So we'll see you on the next podcast. And don't forget, we're going to go from guilt to grace and from fear to faith. See you next time. Oh, wait a minute. Before we forget, we forgot about our social media accounts. Yes, we did. We're on Facebook. Yes. Instagram. Yes. TikTok. Yes. And YouTube. Oh, and YouTube. Sorry, I always forget about YouTube. And we have our own uh, website from days to years.com. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>